Darwin 200 ship is in Folkestone, about to start our circumnavigation around the UK. Many of the Darwin 200 young scientists are passionate about marine wildlife and are collecting data on key species. I'm Joe, I'm a marine biologist from Plymouth University. Recently graduated in July of this year. Got an interest in marine vertebrates, so that's whales, dolphin sharks, fish, that sort of thing. Being on Darwin 200 really gives me the opportunity to work in a field, see some of these organisms, and really be involved in their conservation and future protection. So I'm currently going through our sightings logbook. Now we've had some amazing finds on Darwin 200 so far, ranging from seabirds right the way through to minke whales. It's incredible. So some of our more iconic finds, I suppose, um, have been sunfish. Now we've had sunfish in huge numbers. Now to see so many sunfish at one time is just pretty amazing. You, you don't tend to see them like this, which again was very cool. Now what we've got here is the time we saw the organism, the location, so the longitude and latitude, and also the species we saw. So I managed to snap this amazing photograph of a feeding school of bluefin tuna yesterday. Now bluefin tuna um, as a species disappeared from our waters in the, the 1990s. Now, to see these guys make a comeback is really quite, quite special and incredible. Um, taking photos of organisms like this, these, these large megafauna, can be imperative to research because it provides information on their size, whether they're healthy, uh, areas that they're locating, places where they might be migrating to, and areas of importance. Now, to have this understanding will really push our future conservation for these sorts of species and help them return. So all these photos that we're taking, all these records, um, what is the actual use may you may ask? So what they provide us is information of where we found these organisms, how many there might be, their behaviours and also an identification. Now what we can use these for is to produce a digital map where we can plot where we've seen these different species in relation to their location in the UK. And we can share this information with conservation organisations such as Sea Watch UK and any other sort of conservation organisations that can potentially put mitigation measures in place to stop these animals becoming threatened in the future and also provide further protection if necessary. At the end of the voyage, the young scientists will present a map with all of their findings to show the distribution of whales, dolphins, sharks and other large fish in UK waters. Join us in five weeks time to discover their exciting findings.